What's up? My name is Triple Shoot, and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to back up your Debian server to Microsoft OneDrive, Google Drive, basically any cloud service using our clone. It may not be the best method, but it's pretty simple, and of course allows you access to it from pretty much anywhere. And assuming you have probably a terabyte of space or so, well, it's definitely perfect for you, other than keeping your own offsite backups. Most of the backups that I've seen have been about inserting a USB and putting everything there, but what about cloud backups? Well, that's what this is tackling. If you know of a better method, please do let me know in the comments down below, and I'll have extra info there too. So to start, I've simply opened up Visual Studio Code, where I've currently SSH'd into my Debian server. We'll need to start by downloading and installing our clone, which is relatively simple to do. On the rclone.org slash install website, you'll find two commands. You'll be picking one of these, either the normal installation or the beta installation. For this, I'll just be choosing the normal. I'll copy it and paste it in here, then hit enter. I'll enter my sudo password, wait for the download, and when it's done, it's now installed. Our clone, and poof, there we go. Now, all we need to do is add ourselves a remote, whether it's Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, etc. Our clone config, and we'll set it up as per usual with new remote. I'll enter the name, same OneDrive, drive and I'll choose Microsoft OneDrive from the list over here. For me, it's 32 Microsoft OneDrive. I'll leave this blank, leave this blank, choose Cloud Global, the default, skip the advanced config, use the auto config default, and I'll head across to this in my browser. So, or clone config. I've now set up a OneDrive over here, and it's working as I would have hoped. So, I'll quit out of this, and let's quickly create a filter file so we don't sync things on our server that we don't need synced. For this, I'll run sudo nano home techno.config clone and filter.txt. This is the file we're creating and techno is my username. So just fill that in with yours when you need to. Hitting enter inside of here, every line that we start with a minus and a space will be not included when we use this filter file in our R clone command. We'll be leaving out dev slash star star proc slash star star sys slash star star temp run mount media and lost plus found or like this i'll control s to save and control x to close if you'd like you can of course add things like star.jpg to remove all the jpeg files from your backup that won't be backed up at all they'll all be stepped over and ignored etc etc but with these i'm fine as i'm backing up the entire system onto the cloud so i've logged into OneDrive over here let's go ahead and create a folder in here just to see that everything's working properly for this i'll do our clone make dir OneDrive, which is what I've called my remote, and say test. After doing so, I can look at OneDrive, give this a refresh, and there's the test folder as we had hoped. Awesome. So I'll delete this for now, and we'll start our backup, and I'll delete the welcome image as well. Now we'll need the backup command. You can use our clone copy and things like that, but I'll be using our clone sync. So we just have a rolling updated copy one-to-one -one, from my server to OneDrive. Deleted files on my server are deleted from OneDrive as well. Though of course they'll be available in the recycle bin if we ever do need them. Our clone. And to begin, I'll start by lowering the log level just so we only see important info. So log level notice, log file, and I'll make this home techno.config, our clone log.txt, stats two seconds. So we get updates every two seconds, progress, and we can set the numbers of transfers. In this case, transfers, I'll make it say 30 checkers. I'll make it say 32. Let's raise both of these. It does have a really strong line and a really good processor, so I'm happy to push these nice and high. Though you can lower these if you'd like. Usually for backing up on my main computer, I use 16 transfers and 32 checkers. Then check first retries one just so things don't get retried over and over as this backup will be run daily max backlog i'll make this six nines buffer size i'll make this 256 m megabytes and finally sync the actual command i'll tell it to copy links as well so it'll copy sim links and some linked folders, and now we'll give it a directory to copy. In my case, it'll just be slash the root directory. Now, very important, filter from, and we'll pick the filter file we just created here. So home techno.config, our clone filter.txt, and now for our remote, in my case, OneDrive, and we'll make a backup folder. I'll copy this command just in case it gets drowned out later, and I'll run it. Now, as you can see, it's backing up 10 gigabytes of files, and the backup starts pretty much immediately. This is where you'll need to play around with the number of 
transfers to optimize it as well as possible. It's running on an SSD with a really good network connection, so I can very happily leave this running pretty much at full speed. I'm more than happy to back up everything as my total drive space is about a terabyte and I have a terabyte on this OneDrive account. Giving it a refresh, we have a backup folder and inside of here we can see boot, etc, home, lib, 64, snap, var, and of course if you like you can remove the boot folder here, etc you'd probably want to keep as part of your backup, though you can remove things like maybe apt, dpackage, etc, home, very important to keep, lib, you may want to remove some things as well, or remove entirely, lib64 the same, snap, var, you should definitely be keeping, especially if using it as a web server for example, but regardless our backup is running and it'll take a couple of minutes to complete. If you have any errors like we do over here, you may want to cancel it, clear, and maybe run as sudo. In fact, I probably should have done that in the first place, just to make sure it has permission to do everything. And as you can tell, it's syncing lots of different modules, things from Python, etc. These should probably all be ignored, so I'll add to the filter file just so we're not going to back up absolutely everything. It'll end up saving us quite a bit of cloud space and of course CPU time and sync time. So it's still backing up over here but if I open up a new terminal while it's still going and pull across my OneDrive here you can see in the backup folder I've got etc here with let's encrypt nginx and ufw configs in it. Of course you can add whatever you want there. I've got my home directory here with all the users in it and my var directory here as well with my website logs etc. Of course you can add and remove to this as you see fit and even if I check home techno then dot config and inside of here I have our clone with my our clone filter file in it and the config. Opening up the filter here's everything backed up and of course that means that while well, things are working pretty much as expected with my backup working properly let's go ahead and run this backup automatically every 24 hours. To do so we'll be creating a cron job though we'll also need to make a script. So let's go ahead and get to the correct folder where we can put our script. Usually this will be sudo nano user local bin and we'll make the file in here. So I'll call this our clone backup dot sh, maybe our clone underscore backup dot sh. I'll enter my password, create the file and inside of here we'll simply be dropping the command that I wrote out earlier. Then all we need is to double check everything copied properly, control s, control x and now we'll allow this file to be executable. So chmod plus x for executable followed by the path user local bin our clone backup dot sh of course we'll need sudo for this here we go now if we simply run this command over here the path to the file it should then open up and run the r clone command straight away so awesome things are working as we'd hoped let's go ahead and get this to run every 24 hours so if you haven't already got cron or cron tab installed we'll run apt get update sudo apt get date then sudo apt get install cron and we'll run cron tab tag l to see what cron tab jobs we have i don't have any here so clear and we'll run sudo cron tab tag e and inside of him we'll select one for nano use my normal numbers at the top instead of my numpad and inside of here we can define it let's make this command run at midnight every day so minutes i'll have it zero i'll type with my numbers on top of my keyboard zero space hours will be zero space days will be star for every day space month star space day of the week star once more so three stars and we'll add the path to the script here so user local bin our clone underscore backup dot sh and now we'll control s to save control x to close and poof there we go as simple as that it should now run every 24 hours or at least every midnight you can make that whenever you'd like and your backup should be safe of course you'll need to double check for a day or two maybe a week just to make sure that things are running properly on your server. On top of this, cron jobs should work after a reboot, so everything should be good here. Once again, if you know of a better way, please do let me know in the comments down below. I just like this way, as it works with pretty much any cloud provider. You can store any data on them, and if you'd like, you can even encrypt them, which once again, you'll find a guide in the description down below, which will take you through using our clone completely, even all the way to encryption. So in those videos, I'm back at Windows. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name is Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.